What is up, everyone, and welcome back. It's great to see everyone. I do got a ton of videos and a doll caught in a cord, of course. But I do got a ton of videos. I did a Trader Joe's, uh, a Trader Joe's walkthrough, and then I have the haul of the items I purchased. Granny's car, the transmission's going out, so it goes in the shop, and as I mentioned, uh, we help her brother, my uncle, so the last couple days, I've been trying to collect what everybody needs, you know, Granny's gonna be stuck at home, and she is a go-getter, but in a way, I'm kind of glad she's stuck at home with everything that's going on in the world, she don't need to be going everywhere anyways, so, I've been masked up, strapped up, ready to go. So we got the Trader uh, Joe's haul. God, I don't know why I'm like stuttering to say that today. The Trader Joe's haul and walkthrough. So I'm going to do the haul in the next video and then the walkthrough. I keep trying to clip the videos together. I know, I'm a lame. I can't get it figured out. So if you want to watch the walkthrough, it's like a lot of the new holiday items, cookies, sweets, treats, etc. And then I did purchase a couple things. So we are going to do a drink of the day, but we're going to do a snack of the day in the Trader Joe's haul because this is a long one, you guys. I don't even know if we're going to finish this. It's a lot to take in. Um, so let me set Indian style. Um, it is freezing where I'm at. Oh my God, you guys. Let me know in the comments. Is it cold where you're at? It went from like nice to cold. Knowing that tomorrow I'll be saying it's hot again. But um, I did do a little... Cr uh, I keep saying Christmas. God, you guys, I'm not with it. When I take a couple days off, it's like... Bleh. So... I did do a little Thanksgiving video, and I know it's kind of late, you know, but it kind of, I went around my grandma's house and filmed some pictures of when I was young, and it was even kind of reminiscent to me, so if there's some things that you're not into, the Trader Joe's, the whole, you know, I get it, that stuff's not for everyone, and then we do have a new puppy video coming up, so it's going to look like I'm going to bombard you guys with stuff, but it's like the last couple days, I've been trying to get everybody situated in my family, I know. I got this lonely little Christmas tree today. Isn't that cute? And I got to work on my Christmas background. I got some really cute stuff and then stuff from last year. So I'm like, yeah, we got one lonely tree back. Wow. Did you see that? Glitter just went everywhere. That's another thing I want to say and we'll get right to it. I don't want to waste. Let's get to this drink. But I really like ColourPop shadows, but gosh, you guys, let me know. Even if you use a base and I'm not just saying ColourPop. I love glitter shadows, but I hate underneath, and then, of course, you go to wipe it, and the glitter's everywhere, so, yeah, I probably got glitter all over my nose, glitter all over here, and now I just flung aqua green glitter everywhere, so, let me know, like, should I take a brush and try to, like, brush it off instead of trying to rub it, because, man, I had glitter all through here, and I was like, man, if I get that in my eye, it is not going to be a good time, so... This is the Stewart's Original Fountain Classics. Now, we have had the orange cream. Um, we've had maybe the cream soda, the root beer. Anyways, this brand makes an orange cream. That's my favorite. And then a cream soda root beer. And they have different ones. But I have not had this fella yet. So this is the cherries and cream. Stewart's is kind of like a old school fountain drink. Um... Again, with something like this, I've mentioned a million times, I'm not big pot on pop, so I'll sip through this. Maybe finish it with my dinner. I'm ready to get to Trader Joe's haul because I'm hungry as a hostage. Some of us out on these YouTube streets really haven't eaten yet. So, let's get a little swiggy of this and, uh... Oh, that's great. So, you definitely get the cherry... It's like a nice cherry grenadine almost, and then you get the cream. I notice with a lot of these sometimes that have cream in them, you don't get the cream, but that's what I like with the Stewart's. The orange, you really get the cream, and that's what I like about that. So, we're going to do snack of the day, like I said, in the video. Coming up, man, that's good. Yeah, that is great, and believe it or not, it looks like super red. It's a really light cherry and cream. Like, it's not super, super, like, you know, it has obviously got sugar, but it's not a super duper sugary. I really like something like that to sip on. 
So, we are going to be checking out the Shrimp Fettuccine Alfredo with Garlic Bread Creepy Pasta Collab Mukbang. Now, before I say this, I get what's going on with the world. So, before you say, Kaya, there ain't collabs, I get that. This ain't a collab in any shape, way, or form. I have skimmed through this. I didn't go to the end. I just kind of wanted to see what, you know, who this big collab was with. Um... We're not checking out the collab, of course. Um, I'm not into the mukbang stuff, like I said. I I'm just not. So if that's your thing, no disrespect to you, but I'm not in. I like to eat myself, so I gotta be careful watching other people eat. So, you know what I mean? It gives me the munchies. So, anyway, so, I went through this. Simon's giving up. He's like, I'm laying in here. She ain't gonna let me in that. Fine. But... This is more like a shout-out. I don't get where she gets this as a collab. It is more of a shout-out. Yeah, she mentions go to the person's channel, but it's not like she put half of her video and then added some of their video in. I get with the way the world's going on, you can't do live collabs or, you know what I mean, in-person collabs, but this ain't no collab. This is a daggone shout-out. So, our girl's confused when it becomes to a... Uh, shout out and a collab so without further ado let's get through that i skimped through the da, 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 da. we've heard it a million times um you know with me sometimes i make featured films so uh i'm trying to you see if i'm pop the top off the drinks i'm trying to cut down a little bit as far as you know trying to cut corners where i can but pull up a pillow a drink whatever Grab your blanket, because let's do this. You know it'll probably still be long anyways. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. Fettuccine. Not right now, Apple. Fettuccine, or excuse me, shrimp fettuccine Alfredo garlic bread creepy pasta collaboration. Now, I will say that when she eats pasta... It is one of, I would say, that and chips, like, hardcore crunchy things. The pasta ones are probably the worst to me. So, without further ado, let's get to, let's get five. So, this has shrimp. Of course, it's shrimp alfredo. Um, it's like, like tomatoes and onions or something. And, uh, yeah, green onions um, and alfredo sauce. Looks really good, actually. And the salad. Now Which watch I'm this. Really craving right now, so let's get rid of those onions. Excuse me. So we're really craving the salad right now, but we don't end up eating it. Spoiler alert. And let's put... She says it looks like bag Which lettuce. Time? But I think she eats the croutons and the dry. Man, this piece here is driving me nuts. She dumps all the Parmesan cheese. Let me just shut up. He stole the shaky cheese. Shaky cheese, shaky This is uh, Eastside Mario's Garden Salad Famous Dressing, which is very good. It's just like an uh, Italian vinaigrette, kind of. Reverse yoink. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, because I don't know, th th this is a lot for me to take in with the pasta. So, we eat the croutons, we dump all the cheese on it, of course, and dump all the dressing. And then down the road, we say, oh, the salad's not very good quality. I'm not going to eat that. It's, you know how, like, bag salad gets uh, bad real fast? Well, if you let it... God, this piece of hair. Sorry, guys, it's driving me nuts. Uh... If you let it linger and you save it for later, personally, me, I would have ate this first if it, you know, was getting to the point. But, of course, we eat the croutons, slather, you know, the dressing cheese, and then, let me just shut up. Check out this. I'm not going to say any more right quick. Let me get to it. Look at this giant loaf of bread. Honey, that is a whole garlic bread. It Literally, like the whole damn loaf like the um, Olive Garden dressing, kind of. Enjoy your... Lasagna? Yep. These two were meant right. for each other. Alright, guys. So, let's Simon, knock it off. Um, what I'm going to do hey. is, this is a collab video. So, 
I'm going to talk a bit about that. I'm going to eat a bit. And then I'm going to get to the creepy stuff. She's not. <laughs> she just ate that big tomato in one bite. Look, and she can't... Did you hear that? Yeah. First off, check out up here. I don't know if you guys can see it because we're catching a glare. And I am working on that. Don't you worry. Right here, I don't know if we got... I don't know if some of the Alfredo flung out or the dressing, but we got a spot of white right here. She just... Murk that tomato in one bite. And I don't think she even chewed him. And she's digging around for another bite. bite. That was not a beautiful bite in any shape, way, or form. There went the crew. Like, dude, you're ruining your new clothes. How's that cute? She's like... Bye. Golly. Why is she... She's so aggressive with the bites. We're gonna eat. Mm -mm. Anything crispy and pasta drives me absolutely insane. And pepperoncini. So what she did was pick through what she wanted for the salad. Um, is pretty much the gist. After I eat a bit. I'm going to pause. Do the creepy pasta, which is short. The creepy pasta is so okay. dumb, you guys. Now, I'm collabing. I was supposed to collab in October. Okay, so no disrespect if you guys have ever watched these people she's about to talk about. But when I looked at these people one year... It's looked like Hannah and Rave to me. I was like, what kind of... I know I don't have the best setup, but it was dark. Maybe it was Halloween. I don't know. Like I said, if you like these people, great. I never watched them before, but I'm like, who are these characters? I mean, no disrespect. I never watched them, but it was like dark and it looked like Han or, um, yeah, Hannah and Rafe. I was like, who are those chicks? If you don't know who Hannah and Rafe is, I know most of you guys probably know, but Hannah and Rafe is part of Amber Lynn's posse. Her buddies. With Bay Nation, formerly known as Bitchin' and Eaton. Yeah, see, I don't they know them. YouTube friends of mine way back when I even started YouTube. Look at that bite, you guys. Mm-mm-mm. Now, has she said one word about this she salad being old? Out. One word yet? No. Oh. Um, like, did your mom or anyone not teach you to chew with your mouth shut quietly? I don't know if she watches these videos back, but good stars above. And then the bite is just so aggressive. She'll bite things, and you can see it's so just, aggressive. Because like, we planned it so far in advance. And so she ditched out on him, of course. So I felt terrible. I'm like, I am going to do this. I haven't done collabs in a while. Like, virtual you never really did a collab that I've seen. Um. All right. So, they wanted to collab pretty much, I'm assuming, a shout out. Let's get to this creepy pot. Look, she has got the spread. Hold on right quick. So this is half a loaf right here. Here's the other side. Nope, can't do it. Oh, look at this right here. The pasta flying up in the air. And the way she says, piasta, honey. I can't even tell you how I feel about that. That was a wild, if you guys would have... I'm trying to find this creepy pasta 
because it is the lamest. So I found some creepy. Uh, yeah, here stuff. we gotta go back a there. second just because of that. Look so on I her found face. Some creepy, uh, pastas that are short but creepy. There's quite a few. So that is just. She don't even chew. Look at that. She's yeah. going to the next one. That is a mound of greasy pasta. Look at this. Honey, that's her second shaker. I'm trying to get this, this creepy really pasta. The, this pasta from there. This pasta. Dude, you're saying it all wrong. Sure. You're not saying it right in any but language. Or like so you done made up your own pasta. <laughs> Look at that. And then she wonders why her jaw was messed up. That was like two, if even two. Look at this. She's still digging for more. And you wonder why your jaw is tore down. You see that speck right there? Let me. I don't think you guys are catching it. It's hard. Hold on like yeah there it is you can see it right over here see it right there she still didn't get it what are we so, digging over here the salad I'm all out of oh that's why she stopped eating it no right. we've got t plenty of bread you guys strap yourselves down because this creepy pasta First off, you guys, she picked the absolute shortest creepy pasta she could possibly come up with because she still got this food in front of her, and you can tell she the anticipation of taking another bite is driving her crazy. So she says, "Oh, there's creepy pastas that are even two sentences, honey. That ain't a story. That's two sentences. Like that's a sentence. This is pretty good." Yeah, it's not like hardcore, like, I mean, of course, it's sugary, like I said, but it's not like, no. like I thought it would be. Get cozy. Oh, yeah. We're gonna. We are. We'll read a creep, short creepy pasta called, I sat on the bus. This, you guys are gonna crack up. Creepy looking bus. I couldn't even see the bus, the don't worry. Bus. Even with me so looking cozy. through here before, I couldn't even see the picture of the bus, so. I couldn't tell was the bus creepy or turn not. Your in, turn off the lights, lay back and just listen. Now watch, it's it's driving her Some crazy not to take a bite. A story just listening to someone else telling it. So I discovered that I can whenever. Whenever I, I got chips show. to eat with it. Well, my mom used to read to me every day. I had so many Berenstain Bears uh, books and. Um, little critters and just so many books. <laughs> Babar, um, Dr. Seuss. I say it. But my grade four teacher me. read Old Yeller to us the whole novel. And like, dude, sad, we all know I what Old Yeller happens. Now. It's sad so as like can that, be. I'll try to do my best. <laughs> so, excuse me. It's called I Sat on the Bus. You guys are going to crack up. I sat up. on the bus on my way to school, listening to music and paying little to no attention to the other students. At one of the stops, my mind snapped Look back to reality. Can Is it, wait, she's got I a fake candle. House. Tommy's house, I thought. A hand slipped through the drapes of the window and waved the bus driver to move on. Hey, he's sick, I thought, paying no large amount of attention to the situation. The day flew by. Did Amber Lynn read the, write this? I watched the local news channel after school, and what I heard paralyzed me. Tommy's entire family was murdered that day by an unknown suspect. After hearing this news, I moved back up to my room and quietly fell asleep. The next day, I sat on the bus. We drove past Tommy's house, and the bus driver... Unaware of Tommy's She's like dying fate, to take a bite. She's like, hurry up. 
As I was about to get up and explain to her what had happened, something caught my eye. A pale hand slipped through the drapes of the window and waved the bus driver to move on. I sat on the bus, terrified. I think this is Isaac Cook, it says, the source of the creepy Let me scratch my head right quick. She's ready to eat. Anyway. She's like, anyways, whatever. That was pretty good. I don't know, it was short, but still creepy, you know what I mean? And not too like, long. Look, I told you, she's like, I'm ready to eat. Um, there's more, I might do another one. Mm -hmm. It's a very short. Look at that. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. You guys, there's times that, like, even that Panera skit, and that was a skit the other day, y'all. That was a parody comedy skit. I know some people were like, first off, I'm never ungrateful for the food I have. That was a joke. That was a comedy skit. I was pretending to be Amber Lynn. So, I know most everybody got it, but if you're new, that I'm not being ungrateful. That was a comedy skit. I was pretending to be Amber with the Panera Bread situation. Look, perfect frame game. Bleh. Don't that look like it's coming back out? Bleh. Sorry, I know that was gross, but I can't even stop. Look, Bleh. Sorry I missed y'all. It's been a minute, man. I know I made like walkthroughs and stuff, like I said, but this is the stuff I have fun with. Look at that. Like, sorry, sugar. Not hold on, baby. It's very messy. Look, that's our third shaker. Good. I need oh my god. I like, take a drink, you <laughs> <laughs> It's like a car we'll start in the winter. Because if not, we might have to. Band Look at that butter. Too. Like, she is naive. I mean, she ate that whole loaf. I Look at that. Of a off. It just like, <laughs> I know it's gross. Not like talking about ripping a wart off while you're eating dinner. Something, something hit it. I don't know. It's on my hand, so it's like in an awkward. Look you know? at that. She ate that whole <laughs> loaf of bread. If she clears her voice one more time, take a damn drink of water. Oh. He's looking for band-aids in the trash can. Like, no, he was throwing his freaking food away. All right, so we're going to scootle do Merch the bread. Look at, whoa, we missed a whole other shaker full. You guys, I think this is like the fourth fish shaker. Crappy shredded lettuce? You wasn't saying that when you was just Salad eating it. Pieces? You ate all the stuff in the croutons. That's why you didn't eat it. <laughs> no flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking about <laughs> that. No flavor. Because you done ate all the dressing and the cheese and all the vittles that was in it. You could have 